Don't you touch that remote. The show is about to start. You should have grabbed your snack like five minutes ago. <sighs> oh well. Grab it anyway. It's big quick. And I know you've got your blanket. And I see you've got your tea. Or hot cocoa. I'm not sure what that is. You've got a drink. That's good. Just get comfortable. Sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. in a haunted mansion. All right, here we go. We're back at it again. We're getting, we're becoming veterans at this point, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We're getting the hang of this. We've been spooked. We've been scared. We've been lied to. We've been deceived. We have been treated with respect and love and kindness. And I'm only talking about Rose in that regard. <laughs> Perhaps Charlie too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we faced a lot of crap in those plays so far. Something's unexplainable. Some things that were unexplainable that became explainable. And some things that are just flat out paranormal. So in other words, we're petrified. But we're doing it afraid. <laughs> Quoting jo Joyce Meyer there. Do it afraid. I love that. I just, I haven't read her book yet, but I love that stating. That stat uh, blah, 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 that saying, do it afraid. And that's what we're doing here today. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, guys. We're, we're, we're getting through this, and we're getting closer. As you remember in the last episode, we were five seconds away from running to the library and throwing in this last tile we finally found in the dumbwaiter. It's kind of systematic there. We thought, okay, uh, where's the other two tiles? Okay, well, we're going to check the attic. We haven't checked there. We found it. I totally went right past it when I first initially got in the attic. And then... We fixed the dumbwaiter with the iron we found. We found that iron in the attic, which made no sense. I didn't even think we, I had to pick it up. I didn't even notice that I could. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the dumbwaiter. We helped Rose with that, and we got um, we got the last tile here. So, I'm getting really anticipated, really anxious to get in the library. and see. Oh, we also got a letter. Um, when we went to take our nap to wait till Louie left the office, the library, and it's still about six, it's seven o'clock now. It's been about an hour and a half since we got that letter, uh, Nancy time, and it said leave the mansion now, underscore. It looked like someone did it uh, calligraphy on a weird piece of kind of like thick cardboard, uh, traditional um, one-use gr grocery bag kind of paper. You know what I mean? It's kind of crinkly. So someone's on to us. <laughs> So the people we thought are sus now think we are, are sus. So <laughs> it's a it's a head to head combat here. I'm a little nervous, and I yeah, it's making my tummy rumble a little bit. Ah, <sighs> Rose, will she ever quit? Look at the size of that pen. Oh my, she means business. You could you could hit someone with that thing. Real wax. What if there's like a secret gun in there? She's got one of those 007 guns. She's just gonna pow, shoot it, shoot it at someone. Well, if that's the case, then these candles could be guns, too. <laughs> hey, actually, that pen is about the size of the candle. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You could literally take a candle and stick a pen insert in it. That would be about the same thing. Jeez, maybe these are her backup pens. She's just got a display over here. <laughs> oh, I get distracted so easily, folks. Okay. Work with me here. Bear with me. Can we pull this down or something? That's just it. We're done with the dumb waiter. It's become nothing now. All right, so Louis is not, I repeat, not in the library. So now we have ample opportunity. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, oh, there's a fire. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to put this out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do I get over there? <laughs> I talked to everybody in the house, and 
none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come again? Louis suggested you cut your losses before it's too late? Someone you hired to help renovate an old Victorian mansion whose job is literally and passion is to do so? He's voluntarily saying, yeah, forget it. I don't want to work here. I don't want to do what I love. What? Well, that's why I'm curious about that. What advice did he give her? What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. Uh, I don't like that. What the heck? Why? Why? That's so ignorant of him to do. What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house, no yes. matter what. Yes. Nothing can drive me away. I don't Good care girl. if it's fires, earthquakes, Good or woman. Mr. Valdez and his <laughs> gang of ghosts. Yeah, Rose. Yeah, Rose. Oh, I love her. She is not going to give up. She will not back down. I am with you, Rose. We will get to the bottom of this. Mm-hmm. I love Nancy's politeness here. She's so sweet. Excuse me for prying, but... Why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. Sweet, true. Oh. I've put my entire life savings into this house. And if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. True. Very true. I can All see right, well, I'll let you Wow, go. that's a lot of turn of events. I wanted, we were going to go in there to <clears throat> put the last tile, or remaining tile, into the fireplace. And someone has gone and set fire to the parlor. Well, we, we got to use that fire extinguisher in the parlor, am I right? So that's out of the question. I hope there's no more... Uh, <laughs> I hope there's no more fires in this house. <laughs> Is it still there just in case? Oh, it's not. Okay, so we might not need to uh, deal with any more fires. I don't even think the fireplace was on, was it? I haven't really been paying much attention to the fireplace. I don't think it was on, so no sparks could have... Could have done that. Huh? Enough reality. Yours truly. Hugh. Huey. Oh, folks. I think we're on to something here. <gasps> okay. I will let you into my perception in my mind in a moment. I just need to confirm what I'm thinking here. Aha! Okay, folks, you know what those burned pieces of paper are? You're probably already with me here on this. You're probably on the same wavelength. That's what I love. I love you guys because you all stay on the same page with me here. Um, <clears throat> these letters, we read these. We read these in the drawer desk I was just at. They were in there. And that was a corresponding letter between um, Hugh Stradiner, as we can see here, Huey, and Rose. This is Rose's friend, Huey. And I'm pretty sure... Rose wrote to Huey first to let him know, you know, I bought the mansion, everything's working out well, we're doing the renovations, yada, 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 yada. And he responded with his thoughts and, you know, and talking about stuff about the place and saying how he wants to come down because he's, he's getting used to or learning about Chinese culture. So who thought it was important to burn these? It's not like there was much information that or, you know, um, explicit material in there that could make or break someone or you know um lead someone to um out themselves oh <gasps> he's here what time is it oh it's only 1 p.m <laughs> well <clears throat> we've had confronted abby and we tried to confront her again so now we're gonna confront louie ah nancy what a shame to have lost those papers and to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Is she? Is she? Hmm. Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Really? Really? Thick walls. Well, I guess if there's a lot of secret passageways, I can give him the benefit of the doubt there because you got to have a lot of um, thick 
uh, some leeway for those for those uh, passages. Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. <sighs> oh, that's very sus. Because, wait a minute, that is very sus. Because the other letter that was in that box were telephone companies, I think, or, or record of telephone companies from the early 1900s. So that would have some... No, maybe it wouldn't have any purpose for him because he's just a Victorian redecorator. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I just looked to my right and I see a giant spider on the wall. Hey, buddy. He's just chilling. I'm not going to bother him. I don't kill spiders. I just kind of let him be. He won't hurt me if I don't hurt him. But if I do kill him, he might come back as a cat, so... I mean, that would be a lot better, right? Or dog. No. Nah. Verdict is we're going to let him live. <laughs> you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. Yeah, but she you told her she should. She put amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. You know what? I've been giving this guy a lot of the benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. But this guy is completely doubtful about Rose and her ability to renovate this place and succeed in her mission. And we just heard Rose say, you know what? No, I'm determined. No one's going to scare me out of this place. So the fact that he's not really um, comprehending the, the fact that Rose has put in her entire life savings into this and really can't get out of this situation. Um, I don't like his approach to it. The way he talks about it, even the way he says, I leave that decision up to her. But you didn't say yes. I did suggest she leave the house sell the house but i left that decision up to her he's not even admitting that he did tell her to leave he's kind of just getting ahead of himself so that's 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 very suspicious <laughs> that's a little sus to me red flag i'm not sure if she can afford yeah just completely doubtful hmm. i won't keep you any longer goodbye goodbye chandler huh what do you think mr spider over there He's still climbing the wall. Whatever. Oh, you know what? We shouldn't do this when he's here. Yeah, let's wait till he's gone. Actually, let's talk to everyone else but this fire. Let's see what they say. Because we've only just heard Lou, uh, Louie and Rose. And of course, Rose, she's not suspicious. Well, we don't think so anyways, right? Blink, blink. <laughs> uh, every time. Um... I hear something. Where's that coming from? Do you guys hear that? Where am I hearing that? You guys are hearing that, right? It's up here. Oh, it's gone now. What the hell? Where was that coming from? I swear I was hearing Rose and Abby fighting. Did you all not hear that? I am so confused right now. And Rose, Abby's not in her room. What the heck was that? Hello. Are you missing any papers? Oh, Funny yes. you should ask. Yes, I did misplace some old letters, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. Wow. I can see so it's not Rose. Can. I believe her. I'm Take sorry. Care. I believe her. I think her demeanor and everything else, she, she, you know, she's genuine. Um, three to six. Right. So we still have some time. Charlie's downstairs. Let's go say hi to him and see what he thinks. Let's get his perception on this. But wasn't that weird? You guys did hear Rose and Abby arguing, right? They were arguing about something. They said, you know, advertising and this and that. I didn't really hear that. Of course, you guys do need to know. Um, it's probably good that you guys know as well. I'm kind of on the bare basics right now. I'm, I'm kind of uh, getting a, a, an official Let's Play set up. So with the headset and the microphone and eventually webcam so we can actually see each other. Um, but right now, I'm just recording the audio separately uh, on my phone as I start Bandicam to film the screen. So I've got Bandicam and iPhone recording 
recording at the exact same time and then I have to put the two together in editing, which can create a bit of an echo effect. I know that's probably another thing that's come up. You guys think, oh my God, this echo is annoying. I try to make it as slight as possible. I really do, guys, like right down to the microsecond to make sure it's lined up properly. But sometimes, sometimes I don't get my way. And, uh... Sorry, folks, I'm looking for that spider. He's gone. Okay, I don't know where the spider went. Um, he was right here. Well, whatever, that's that's fine. <laughs> He's not creeping up on me, is he? No, we're good. But if I see a spider on my face, I'm gonna scream into the microphone. But yeah, so I'm basically just doing a basic right now. Um, so bear with me. But uh, that's why I can't hear, because I've got the, the audio also running through my speakers here. And I'm, uh, I have to keep it low so there's less echo. But it, that was a very low conversation. And no captions picked up here. So I couldn't really... I'm going to have to actually go back and see what they were saying in the recording. Um, but interesting, though, isn't it? Very, very interesting. Okay. Um, hey, Nancy. Here there's been another accident. You gotta believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. What? I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Oh, because Rose was mad at him for not putting up a, a fire a fireplace screen. Ah, well... I mean, no one accused you, though. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So uh, I returned it. Oh, the plot thickens. So we're back to Louis again. So Louis said to... What's the wrong type? You can't really get a wrong type for a fireplace, can you? Oh, because he wants it specifically Victorian-dominated aesthetically. Okay. And that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. Yep, I can agree with that. <laughs> a few unusual things. And a few unusual people, I might add. <laughs> so, do you have any proof? I'd better not say anymore. Sorry. What? I better not say anymore? Charlie, who are you covering up for? Or, or what do you know? Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. What? The plot thickens again. You get back to your oh my gosh, it's getting so thick that I can't even make my way through it. So, so Abby was seen at the scene of the crime, but Louis told Charlie to return the fireplace screen. I, I, I don't get it. Oh, we just missed Abby. I'm pretty sure she's three to six, right? I need to write this down. <laughs> Out from three to six. Okay. Well, he's the next person. She's the next person we need to talk to. So I think we need to have another little nap. It's time for a nap. Actually, no, this damn tile. Oh my God. We're still lugging around this tile. <laughs> oh, I think we need to nap anyways, because Louie's going to be in there till five. Okay, so we sleep till six, and on the way downstairs, we can interrogate Abby. So we are confronting her again. We have to confront her a third time now. Oh my gosh. Too much, man. Too much, too much. It's too much. All right, if I turned around and someone was in this room, I would probably scream so loud. Like, I know it's not going to happen, but I just get so petrified in this house. I think the, the, the soundtrack, all of the sound effects, everything they use in this game, even down to the pink writing when there's sound effects, like a different look or approach, it's petrifying. Like they did this game so well. A lot of their original games are, are underestimated big time. All right, Abby. Hi, Nancy. I can't believe we had a fire. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. I bet Charlie was down there before it started. Funny you should say that. He said you were there before this started, and I can't say that. Why would someone want to destroy those papers? Why would you, Why say, do that? you say that? Because he's always around at the scene of these accidents. I told Rose to fire him, but she won't listen to me. <sighs> I'll let you get hmm. back to what you were doing. Bye bye. That's suspicious. 
I think that's a little suspicious. Because she, she, it's almost like it's a, it's beneficial for her that he always seems to be around the scene of the crime or quote unquote seems to be around the scene of the crime. Because we, we haven't really seen him. I didn't see him at the fire, near the fire. Um, but it seems very convenient for her to place blame on him because he's Charlie, right? He's, he's the renovator. I don't know. But... Okay. No, Louis. Fabulous, 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 darling. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Are you guys excited? Three, two, one. Oh, I heard a click. I heard a click. Oh, right, this this guy. It's stuck. Not anymore. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Are you guys excited? I don't want to. Oh, it's shut. Oh, you've only got enough a certain amount of time. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again real quick. Just before I do that, side note, gotta pee. BRB. And I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. All right. I have been, I have been leading, I have been building all of this anticipation. Oh my goodness. Let's just get it over with. Let's get in that freaking secret entry. Where's this gonna lead, I wonder? Go through the whole house or something? Oh, this is creepy. I don't like this. Let's take our time in here. Who is this? Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. Right, right. So there's another symbol. We're almost getting the full poem. I think we've seen quite a lot. What's up here? Oh, a lantern. Yay. We're going to check out the basement, guys. In that underneath the fireplace where that secret um, place is. What is that? Oh, that painting. Remember? In the stairwell. Oh, no. Wait, this is... This is... Is that painting above the fireplace what the f so has louis well hold on no because the tiles the tiles haven't they weren't in place so you couldn't open this door so i don't think louis's been hiding in here or utilizing this this sneaky peaky because <laughs> because he didn't have the stones right or the tiles so there's no way it would have gotten in here which is very interesting so then who is utilizing these secret passageways if there's more than one because remember that other painting blinked at us but as far as i'm concerned that's really that's all that's going on in here okay now i'm very creeped out by that painting <sighs> ew i don't even like being in here anymore guys <laughs> Maybe, though, we could utilize that lookout to spy on Louie. Maybe we could turn the tables and try and get in there before before he goes back into the... Uh, when does he go in? He's usually there from... 3 to 6, right? No. That's when Abby's gone. Abby's gone from 3 to 6. Sorry, Rose. Don't mean to disrupt you. Um, Louie's... Okay, so noon. So if we can get into that secret room by 11 o'clock am and sneak or sorry wait for him to show up and catch him in the act of something maybe hmm maybe we can get to the bottom of this sooner than we think <laughs> oh but first and foremost we got to go into the basement right i knew there was something um let's make sure charlie's not there <laughs> Charlie will start to get very suspicious of us. And at this point, since he, he does seem fairly innocent, to me anyways, he seems kind of innocent. Um, just kind of a sweet guy. I feel like he's like getting very frustrated with being the fall guy. 
never wants to accuse him and you know everything else under the sun so i feel like he's genuine i feel like he's just really trying to to get this job underway and he's an easy route for people to blame everyone thinks it's it's just easier to suss him out to make him look bad oh that's why this is why you do not travel in secret passageways in the dark we could have fallen to our deaths and there's no way in hell you're finding a body down there. Ooh, where are we now? <gasps> Ooh, howdy ho, howdy. Hey, we're behind the mirror, folks. So maybe, well then how did... Oh, right. She had the, uh, Abby had the film projector, right? And she was putting the, uh, the ghost of Lizzie against there. I was starting to think maybe she walked along this glass to make it look like that, but... Someone's camping out here, though. Look at this. Oh, dear Mom and Dad, sorry I haven't written in a while, but things have been busy. I'm working now. Really busy lately. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I'm learning to, a lot and very proud of the work I'm doing. I'm still in between places, so I'll let you know what my address is once I settle down. Santa group. Charlie! <gasps> Charlie. Wow. So, Charlie is the one camping out here. That's interesting, because earlier we tried to talk about, I don't know if it was whether it was with Rose, we asked Rose where he lives, or we asked Charlie himself where he lives. I can't remember, but it's obvious he was lying to us. He lives here. That floppy disk will come in handy um, on Ch Chandler's, on Louis' uh, laptop. Can plug that in. What's he reading right now? El Diablo. Not much is known about the mass bandit who plagued the Domingo Baca Trail between 1875 and 1880. Except for his trademark black outfit and mask, many legends associate him with the great Christmas robbery. <gasps> Heard about? But contemporary historians now believe the robbery was fabricated by the stagecoach company since the treasure was never found. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, when the force... Oh, no, we already did that the one. The king of the sky will shine his ray. Oh, great king. Man, I have a lot of traveling to do when I have to go around and uh, <laughs> and write down all the symbols. Oh, there's a passageway though, too. Is that a rat trap? What is that there? What is this? I'm nervous. What? What? We just came out of that that opening or there's an opening there what charlie you have some explaining to do i mean it's it's not that suspicious right like that he's living in the house but i mean it's, it's kind of actually kind of sad i feel bad for him that he has nowhere to go but I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the one behind all of this right I wonder if we can talk to Rose about it. Hello. No. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Huh. Okay. Well, you know what we're going to do? I'm just I'm going to... We'll put that on the back burner for now. And we'll confront Charlie when we see him next. But what I want to do, what I'm anticipating doing, is getting down into the library, in that secret room, before Louis shows up. So we can stalk him. Creepy, right? Okay, here we go. Y'all excited? I'm excited. We'll see if he's sus or not. I mean, I'm sure if we catch him doing something, that's that's all we will need, right? To um to make a to make a decision as to who it is. Oh, I gotta get down there quick, because time moves fast in this little house. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> the eyes have changed. The eyes have... Stop it. Do you guys see that? The eyes are looking to the left. <sighs> I don't like that. Is he in there? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Quickly now, quickly now, quickly now. Okay, here we go, guys. We're in. He doesn't know we're here. He probably doesn't even know this exists. Are you ready? 
I've got so many. I've got goose pimples right now. I've got so many. My skin is standing up right now, guys. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. oh there he is. Hmm. Lewis is up to something. Yeah, he is. What book is that? Aha! That's it. What? Lewis, what's it? Are you in there? Oh. I'll be oh. right there. Rose is gonna catch him. Is that the book on ancient Chinese symbols? He's hiding something in his briefcase. Oh, sneaky little bugger. Okay, we gotta go out there and check out that briefcase ASAP. Okay, we gotta make this quick, y'all. Because if he comes back in here, we are screwed. Like, screwed. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this side. I have it written down. Right, right, we got it from the computer. Four. Six, six, five, three, that's one side, and the other side is four, eight, six, eight. Eight, six, eight. Yes! What is this? Through our own voices in the oral history of Chinese immigrants in California. What? Hmm. Gumbo Fu? Gumbo Fu. Gumbo Fu! I would like to know what that means. <laughs> Gumbo Fu. I'm writing that down in my notes. You guys probably should too. Just saying. Which we called the Gumbo Fu. What is this? Um, I came back to San Francisco in 1871 and worked as a chef for Miss Applegate. Oh, my name is Wing Tang. When I was just 19, I worked as a grander, a grader on the Transcontinental Railroad and saw the two great railroads meet at the Golden Spike. I came back to San Francisco in 1871 and worked as a chef for Miss Applegate, Lizzie, for many years at the Hotel Chinoy. That must have been what it was before what it is now, before 1906. And then at the Golden Gardenia, where, which we called the Gumbo Fu. I remember the great earthquake and how it shook the tall buildings like stalks of rice. The great fire destroyed so many buildings and people. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Rick Arlen, back with a oh, Rick Arlen. This is another character from another Nancy Drew game. Oh, look at, wait, no, I, I solved that crime before this one. Rumors have persisted that Arlen had become a victim of a stalker and a teen, that a teen detective named Nancy Drew was on the case. However, neither Rick nor the show's producers had any comment. Miss Drew had recently been, is he stalking me, us, Nancy? That's creepy. He's stalking Nancy. Argentina appraisers, dear sir, I represent a client who would like to sell their collection of post-Civil War gold bullion. My client wishes to remain anonymous during all business transactions, and I am having difficulty determining the nature of their collection. From what I can gather, my client possesses approximately $50,000 in uncirculated bank standard gold coins dated between 1870 and 1880. These would have been issued by one of the five major banks that were located in California at that time. Please contact me at your convenience. I'm available during the mornings and evenings. Respectfully yours, Louis Chandler. Are you kidding me? How does he know that he had... Whoa, 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 whoa. If he's referring to... Uh... Oh, maybe we should call his number. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna write down his number and see what happens when I call it. 555-325-3253. Do we need the 415? Uh, we'll write that down anyways. Okay, we're gonna give that a call and see what happens. But wow, he's a little shit. Oh, I closed it. That was everything though, right? I don't wanna open it again. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Um, what time is it? I feel like I should let Louie come back. We can talk to him, let him leave again, and then we'll upload this floppy disk into his um, laptop. But wow, so he is on to us. He's the one that's sus of us. So maybe he's the one that's behind all of this then. Maybe it isn't Rose at all. That's just very interesting though that he'd have a book on all of that. About a chef who used to work for Lizzie Applegate. And he claims to not know much about this building. I don't understand. Hello. Ah. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No. Not that I can remember. Hmm. I can see your All right. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy. I think she's being honest. However, 
I think we're just at the tail end here of our episode. Unfortunately, folks, I know we was in the leave of the greatest part. Ugh. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. It has been a slice. It has been such a slice. We have got so much further here. There's so much going on. I mean, holy cow. We've caught Louis Chant. We caught Louis going through um, that bookshelf. We, now we know what book he was reading. He was really desperately looking for a connection to this place before 1906 without having any records. But it seems like he had does have other motives because it's not for the, the architectural purposes or the furnishings of the building to keep them original to the um, original house and the state of it then it seems more like he's up to something like the gold sorry he he mentioned gold and he promises that the secret client of which he does not speak has about fifty thousand dollars worth of gold bullion and does it is there a coincidence that there's apparently from what we've read assuming that it's correct gold buried somewhere in this house or hidden somewhere in this house and in the poem it says the i um the end of that poem uh oh i can't quote it right now but it basically said something golden wonders and those banisters on the staircase when i put in diego it said something falls floors so i'm thinking the gold's under there i think louis knows or thinks the gold is somewhere here but i think we're ahead of him i think he is our culprit like i'm almost certain now i'm thinking think we're getting the end of this this mystery too if it is him because now my sights are on him he's in my crosshairs abby still a little suspicious but she seemed a little genuine in her blaming charlie so i don't know what to believe right now i'm a little i'm a little uh confused huh what do you guys think <laughs> my brain is a little bit fried but there's a lot of different avenues of suspicion that are all kind of correlating with each other and the, all that stuff we just found in louis briefcase basically says he's the one trying to figure out something other than what he's here to do so i don't know what to believe but i guess we're just gonna have to keep uh digging here and who knows maybe there's something incriminating on charlie's floppy disk we haven't checked that either it's his term paper what is he doing his term paper on? He said he was in history. Hmm. Too many things. Too many things. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate y'all playing with me here today. I love doing what I do. I love doing this. It is my full pleasure playing this game with you here today on Let's Play. I love sharing this experience with you guys. It is just my niche. I love this. And I love you guys. And I love um, the experience we are sharing together. It is so much fun and we're still scared and we're like so excited and we're building a lot of anticipation. Ow, I just bent my finger the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> ow. <sighs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys in the next episode. And we are going to rule out if Charlie is sus. We're going to question Louie. We're going to question Rose again. Or sorry, Abby. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. I feel like we're getting close to the end, guys. Carry on with me here. Don't go away just yet. Don't run away. We've got this. We've got this. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.